Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of Gretchen Stockdale in a fabulous pink bikini lying on all these stones. So stay tuned and I'll tell you how I came up with this shot. Well welcome back. Now how did I come up with this fabulous picture of Gretchen Stockdale? Well I wanted this idea to be sort of like Sports Illustrated shot looking down on a swimsuit model that maybe was lying on a beach with all these pebbles. It's not easy to be able to go to the beach and do that kind of thing so I decided what I was going to do is to do this in the back of my studio in an area outside because I needed to use natural lighting. Now not only did I use natural lighting but I also took a big reflector and reflected some sunlight back into that open shade area and uh, that would give a little sparkle to the stones and also a sparkle to the model's body. Now what we did was we got hold of these stones from a garden center, we bought a bunch of them, and we put oil on the stones so that when they would get wet they would get nice and shiny and we laid those down in the area where we wanted to shoot. We also put uh, baby oil on Gretchen's body as well because when she got sprayed with a little bit of water she also would appear kind of shiny and I thought it would be kind of sexy as well. So once we laid her down on the stones one of my assistants quickly just sprayed her over with a little bit of water and if you look very carefully you see that what we did was we spread her hair around her we didn't just have the hair hanging down we had it sort of fanned out to sort of give it a little bit more of a special look and make it look as if it was really pieced together and it wasn't just kind of like a girl fell on the floor. So we wanted to have this sort of, as I said, sports illustrated look shooting from above of a girl lying on a beach, but the beach is all pebbles, shiny pebbles that are all wet with her being slightly wet as well. Now in order to do this shot, you've obviously got to get up high. So we put up a ladder and I would climb to the top of the ladder and be able to look over and see Gretchen lying on the stones below me. I had a camera which was situated on a boom and what we did was we used a Hasselblad and when you turn the Hasselblad onto the side you can actually see with a little ground glass in it which shows the image that it's looking at and so it's very easy just to sort of gaze off and look into that view and see the positioning of who you have in your frame. So that made life a little bit easy for me. So I got up on top of the ladder, looked through that, made sure Gretchen was in the right place, set the framing up with the camera perfectly for that image that I wanted and we shot a Polaroid. We then checked exposure and uh, also looked to see whether we got her in the right frame and once we agreed and all thought that looked fabulous we then went ahead and put some real film in the camera. Now yes we used real film, some transparency film as I was looking at Gretchen down below, I would get her to just move around a little bit so that not all the frames were identical. There were just slight differences and variations towards what she was doing as she was moving around. So we did that. Now, Gretchen was a real trooper. She didn't complain about lying on the stones, even though it did look as if it was a little bit on the painful side. But anyway, she turned out to be absolutely fabulous for the shot. So that's how I got that photograph. If you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting stuff on there, some tips and tricks on how to do some of the things I've done in my photographs. You can also download a book that I've called Tips and Tricks, which also could be pretty inspirational for some ideas for yourself. Now, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, maybe it's time for you to subscribe. That'd be really nice if you did. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.